So today's food adventure has brought me in front of Shabu Square in Houston, Texas. This place sells, of course, Shabu Shabu. So I'm going around looking for the best hot pot and here I am going to try this place out. And if you guys ever look this up in the uh, navigation, at first I tried to type in the whole word uh, Shabu Square. Uh, you just have to type in two because it's listed as Shabu with the two on top squared. Anyway, really interesting name, but let's go inside this place and check it out. Alright guys, when you enter, you're greeted with a really nice spacious area. They also got a Shabu bar too, so really nice if you want to sit at a counter and have drinks readily available, but they got booths as well. Really nice place so far. Hi right, guys, I'm sitting at one of the tables near the bar. Um, but yeah, um, really empty space. I, I like uh, hot pot places with like big spaces like this. So like the heat from the broth doesn't like take up too much ventilation so it won't feel so hot. But this is their menu. So it's a really nice clean looking menu uh, with a whole bunch of protein um, meats that they offer. They also have a lot of starters such as kimchi, cucumber salad, and amami garlic shrimp, scallops. Uh, salmon spoon, salmon taiyaki, unagi, uni, uni spoon? Ooh, that sounds interesting. So we're gonna try some of the starters first. Yeah. And then we're gonna move on to eating a whole bunch of protein here. All right guys, so these are the sauces that they brought out and they're adding some of their million Scoville spicy drops onto my goma sauce. And that's their traditional ponzu sauce for dipping. And they have a few of their house specialty um, sauces right there. We got the Sichuan one, we got the green one, and we got the Thai chili one. And one of the appetizers came out. This is the uh, cucumber salad appetizer. It looks really refreshing and really good. All right, let's try some of this. I really like goma sauce. This goma sauce is like a sesame paste sauce. And um, it kind of tastes like peanut butter to me. But let's see. Oh, I definitely get a kick. Oh, man. Oh. Oh, man. That was a mistake to eat on an empty stomach. Mm. All right, guys. All these dishes came out. It looks incredible. These are all the appetizers that they um, offer. These sear scallops look incredible. Can I want to try that? All right, guys. Let's try some of these appetizers. This is their salmon cup with uh, some fried onions on top, sauce and little eggs. Oh, wow. That salmon meat just melted together in my mouth. The sauce is great, it's tangy. And the little garnishes on top get a little bit of good texture. That was really amazing. So what really blew me away is how beautiful this seared scallop looks. Look at that. It is amazing. Let's try it out. Wow, it is buttery, it is um, seared perfectly, it has great sauce, that garlic, it's so good. Let's try some of the uh, shrimp appetizers as well. Mm. Same thing, buttery and garlicky, can't go wrong with that. Let's try some of the healthy vegetables, we got the cucumber sides. Mm. Really light and fresh. Really good chili sauce on there. It's a little parmesan and mame. Mm. And the spicy and mame. Ooh, I love the spicy one. Their spicy sauces are on point. Yum. I want to dip the shrimp in that citron sauce. Because I love spicy. Oh, this special sauce is good. Let's try the goma sauce now. The one with the spicy I made earlier. Mm. Oh, that is good. 
Hey guys, so I just finished all the appetizers and what's really fun I got with my drink is one of the Ramune sodas. So the way you open this drink is you gotta pop this marble on the top to go inside the drink so you can drink from it. That fun. It's like a it's like a really fun like Japanese little kid drink. Um, but yeah, this melon flavored ramune basically tastes like a um, honey juice white flavor. One of my favorite drinks to be honest, but it's really sugary, so I don't have it too often, but you know, we're indulging in some good food, so I can have a ramune. <laughs> Alright guys, so now the broth came out next portion of my meal. This is the uh, spicy miso flavor and this is the spicy crab flavor with an actual crab inside this. So let's try this flavor. Mm. It's like seafoody, spicy, spicy miso. Let's try that. Mm. That one's a lot richer, creamy. Both are very good. But spice, yeah. Decided to try the meat out. The okay. Zabaton, the okay. Wagyu short rib. Okay, Wagyu short rib, awesome. This is the Wagyu ribeye. Wow, okay. This is the Japanese A5. Oh, is, this is like legit A5? Yes, ma'am. Wow. This is the certificate for That's so cool, okay. This is the beef belly. Nice. And then this is the Wagyu strip. Awesome, thank you so much. Okay. What is this you guys put on there? Is it like sesame seeds, sesame oil, and some green onions? Yes, ma'am. Awesome, thank you. All right, guys, let's get started on this incredible meal here. So I'm actually going to start myself out with the A5 wagon. So it is so cool that they serve this up here. We're dipping in the spicy crab broth. Make sure not to overcook it. I'm not going to dip it in any sauces because I just want to taste the quality of this A5 wagon. Wow, that cooks so fast. Right. Let's try it out. Wow. Yo, this is so, so incredibly tender. Just completely melts in my mouth. Wow, that is, that is amazing. I don't think I ever had a fried wagyu in hot pot before, so that is quite an experience. I'm gonna dip it with this miso broth now. I'm gonna try it out with some of their house Thai chili sauce. So all the sauces are made in house. Dip it in that, add a little bit of spice into it. Wow, that Thai spice, it's citrusy, it's tangy, really good. I'm just gonna finish the uh, A5 Wagyu here. It's so good, you can't stop. The miso broth is creamier, they mix up, uh, taste a little bit stronger. I'm gonna try out their citron sauce now that I tried with the shrimp earlier. The spices are really good. I started with the best one, but I'm gonna regret it because I'm like, I'm pretty sure the other meats are just as good, but dude, how fast it cooks too, like it's so good. I'm gonna use my favorite sauce, it's the Goma sauce. Uh, 
Uma salsa de Sichuan salsa are my favorite. Oh, my beef belly is cooked. I love these long mushrooms. They have like such a good texture. Mm. And this creamy miso pot is really good. Thank you. Coffee pot, pot like this is just so enjoyable. 
Because you can definitely tell. Like, if the quality of the meat is good, it's so awesome. Put the rest out. I think that's all the I wanted to bring you guys up closer for my last bit. This is my last little bowl of meat. Oh my god, it was that was so good. This entire meal, I just like. Awesome. So this is a close-up of the spice that I was using. And the, and the thing is, like, I don't feel really heavy. Like from the appetizers to the meat, like everything felt really light. Like it wasn't really greasy. It wasn't um, heavy. You know, it's like good flavors, but you know they keep it like nice and crisp. Mm. Some tofu. Yeah, nothing's really making me like feel, you know, after like a big meal, sometimes you feel really tired. I don't feel like that. I feel really good. I really think it's because um, they, they balance out the flavors really well. You know, there's a lot of tangy and a lot of spices. And a lot of different variants to the textures of food. Um, like the appetizers, there was like crunchiness to them as well as it being both butter and garlicky. Look, butter and garlic, man. Like that's just, that's a match made in heaven. It's just like such a beautiful combo. You know, we got spices, we got sweets. So, none of the flavor variants in my mouth is ever getting old. Everything is just like a new fresh flavor all the time. Ooh, and spicy. Like if you like, if you like really spicy. They got that two million mo Scoville drama. Although in my opinion, it wasn't too bad. It was just like really good flavor. Got my mushrooms. <laughs> Oh, that mushroom is so good. I love eating mushrooms. This is why I always get mushroom toppings on pizza. Because I love mushrooms. Wow, I'm actually kind of sad. I think that was my last piece of meat. Oh, I got tofu though. Protein. <laughs> I always make sure I fish out all the, uh, is that all the meat? Yeah, I fish out all the meat. Man, but that was such a good meal. That was, that was really, really good. Mm. Try out some of the broth. Ooh. Oh my god. So my broth has been accumulating from like all the sauce dripped into the my, my bowl. All the meat, all the veggies, all combined in this. This is so much flavor. Oh man, that is so good. Man, that is so satisfying. Good soup is good. Okay, you guys. What's an ending without a dessert? They got a mochi ice cream here. So this is all their flavor. We got passion fruit. We've got chocolate. We've got matcha. we got strawberry. Let's try it out. Dude, I love mochi ice cream so much. Strawberry flavor. Mmm. Mmm-mmm. What a good ending to like a uh, savory meal. Mm. Mm. Oh, that passion food is good. Ending with the matcha. 
Mm. Wow. Awesome. Alright guys, so I just got done. What an incredible meal that was. If you guys are ever in the area in Houston, definitely check it out. Shabu Square. Let me know I sent you, but that was incredible. I'm not um I'm not hungry. I'm not like overbearing with like fullness. I feel good. Like that was an incredible experience. So definitely check them out. Um but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye bye! Thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. And make sure to check out my website for all my merchandise. I've got clothing, prints, and stickers all up on there. And make sure to check out my social media, my Facebook page. Um, I do a lot of live streaming and on my Instagram page. I do a lot of giveaways and on my Twitter page. I also give a shout out to where I might be so you guys can kind of follow me on my journey, okay? And then check out my other videos. And again, make sure you subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, guys. See you next time. Bye.